hi guys welcome back to another home vlog kind of weekend vlog christmas we're doing something fun tomorrow we are going to like a fireworks christmas west end sing-along some wicked stuff i think was in the description at detlin in maidstone so that's exciting whether you guys are going to be able to see any i'll try and show you some but obviously it's going to be a lot of corporate music we went to one back when lockdown is the first lockdown we went to a west end one in essex it was really good i filmed loads of footage and then actually watching it all back it was all copyright and stuff so i didn't end up doing a vlog of it in the end and just left it and forgot about it but hopefully i'll try and get some snippets tomorrow to show you i'm excited obviously for fireworks and stuff that's very exciting because we've all missed a bit of fireworks this year i am about to wrap presents uh, most of it's done for family family it's just the presents from santa santa's presents that need wrapping um yeah and it's mine and darren's anniversary today darren's giving me a funny look over there darren got me these lovely earrings that i've been after i'd say diamond earrings but we're not really that bougie but they're not cheap either so um and then darren got these i'd say he got them for me but that'd also be a lie hotel chocolat he got them from a contractor so he got them from from his work so we're gonna try some of those gonna have some lunch some sloppy joes like I said, wrap up the presents and then what else we've got to do today? Oh, we're going to watch Kinky Boots because that's on YouTube. Um, oh, yeah, David and Ian said about it and it'd be nice to watch a musical. We can pretend we're actually out on a, celebrating our anniversary rather than just at home. And then the good old Arsenal who are playing so well right now. And then the takeaway. They're on at 5.30 and then we're going to get a Greek takeaway. Yeah, we're excited. We've had it once before. We love Greek food and Turkish food. But it's not really something you'd ever think for a takeaway, but we've done it a few months ago as a treat. It's not the cheapest takeaway, obviously, but it is like restaurant standard food. So we're excited to get that. So we'll show you when we have that later as well. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with some wrapping and we will see you lot in a bit for some lunch. Today's lunch is a garlic fancy cheese. sloppy joe. Anyone else eat sloppy joes? We haven't had them forever, but this is what we had, leftover spaghetti mince. So we've got a nice crusty loaf and then cheese. Although the kids are being boring and just having plain stuff but Darren's going for it and you babe mm -hmm. tasty yep. without the cheese though I'm going for cheese who else eats sloppy joes who even knows what they are I'm sure some people don't <sighs> hi guys after about two and a half hours of wrapping it's done even my back's killing me now but now we're gonna try some chocolates so these ones are the billionaires shortbread generous with caramel Cookie, lavish, smooth hazelnut. Mm, yum. Sounds nothing quite yum. And I can't get them out of the packet. Go pick it out, babe. Look they look. Mm, I like the billionaire shortbread. I don't know, it's like caramel shortbread chocolate. These chocolates are really rich, aren't they? You can't eat too many. Mmm, that is good. Mm. Hazelnut, if you like hazelnut as well, and chocolate. Yum. Oh, try. Right, the next one are strawberry and cream puddles. We said you were reluctant. Oh, shocking it everywhere. Um, yeah, we don't really like strawberry and chocolate, but it might be like white chocolate. Look good. They're good, they don't, they're not like a powerful pet, but they taste, are they? White chocolate flavour of strawberry powder. They are nice. They're not like I thought they'd be a like, punch of flavour. They must have just like white chocolate though. Alright, I've got salt caramel Getting puddles now. now. Yeah, it's more the Arthur taste a bit more intense than the, when you actually first try it. Let's try the try them. Caramel. Oh, let me show them. Let me show them, hold on. Thank you. What are those salt caramel puddles? They're crunchy. Mm. It has a bit coconut. Mm. No. Do you get the coconut? No. No. Alright. 
Millionaire's one's still winning at the minute. This is the next one. Dara said he's not trying one because he doesn't really like brownie. Who doesn't like brownie? The brownie is what it's called. Smooth caramel and pecan praline sealed in 50% milk. That sounds good, babe. Praline is like the best thing ever. These packets ain't for like one-handed opening. Mm. They smell quite dark. They look a bit dark, don't they? You can try Cool Oh my God, they're rich, aren't they? Dark chocolate. That is dark chocolate. Yeah, not for me. Need to get some water for that. Fired. Taylor, going to get scarves of water, babe. Mm, that one's not too great. I'm going to get a drink. Right, well, if you like dark chocolate, then you'll like them. But it says 50% milk, but it just tastes like dark chocolate. Yeah. And it's really like left strong taste in your mouth, isn't it? Right, this, it's going to be hit and miss out of these. One's tiramisu and one is caramel shortcake. I don't. We both don't like coffee, so if this is it. It smells like coffee, uh, caramel mean. Yeah, it's got a crunch to it, so that'd be caramel. Oh god, they're so rich, these chocolates. That caramel is strong. Whoa. Wow. Strong, isn't it? I think I've had enough. Mm -hmm. We're going to try these little mini ones. Well, not that one, because dark chocolate, dark chocolate fruit. We've got water, yeah. caramel and salt. Sorry, salted caramel and milk chocolate and cookies. I think I'll try them later. You don't need a lot of this chocolate. No wonder it's like expensive for little portions. But I think that's definitely our favourite, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really yummy. We've got four more there and one in the little sherry type thing. But they were a nice treat bought for us, so we can't grumble. Sorry, I'm not sure. We can't grumble, because they... Uh, do you have another one? No, I'm putting that one in there. Oh, you're putting that one in there. Anyways, um, we are off to do some relaxing now because I'm putting the cream crackers. These are in relaxing all afternoon. It's all physical, isn't it? <laughs> it's so disgusting. I like that you call me a youngster, though. Um, and then we're going to try and watch Kinky Boots, are we, for the uh, time? No, nah, not now. Some stage, maybe. It must be tomorrow that we're going to watch Kinky Boots because uh, the football's on all day, apparently. Um, and yeah, we're going to order some Greek food, which I'm super excited about later. I need to find it first. Find a restaurant, yeah. And uh, let me show you quickly, actually, the other present that Darren got me, because I'm sure some of you guys will appreciate him. Right, so here's some other things that Darren got me for our anniversary. Now, I love the partner statue. I have the little one up there. Well, not little, all the A4. Um, and then I love the figurine that we have on the Christmas tree. So Darren thought he'd get me this one. Although, can you sort of tell me where this is? Because... We can't really work it out. I don't know if it's Disneyland Paris. I don't think it is. And I don't think it's not Florida. So is it California? Maybe it's California. That's what we're thinking. And then he got me the arches. Of course, the arch is just beautiful. Even though it's been painted now, but still looks stunning. And then he got me the hat. Sorcerer's hat. Because this is what we know MGM. Well, uh oh, not MGM. This is what we know Hollywood Studios as. You know, MGM and the hat were the icons when we, or the first time I went, in 2005 anyway. Um, so that's all I kind of know as as it. I know there are people that don't like it, but I do actually love the hat. And I've got an Epcot one downstairs, so yeah, just got to find some nice frames and somewhere else to put these lovely additions. And they were really kind actually and sent us a freebie. This one. Sadly, I've already got it. This is the one that's up in the living room downstairs, or in the bigger size. But um, I can always give it to as a present to someone. Oh. How rubbish was that press conference? Christmas is as we are tier four, and all of our family are tier four. Hey ho, the vlogs aren't for being down, the vlogs are for all entertainment purposes, and no one wants to see sad people, so let's go get some Greek food, maybe some gin. Right, grubs turn up. We got tzatziki, we got some salad, we got two prawn cocktails, we got a mixed grill. With Grace and Scott lamb, we've got Bordak, which is cheese, phyllo pastry, spinach, halloumi, chips. Taylor, what you got, Tay? Chicken and it. Chicken and chips. <laughs> and then we've got some garlic mushrooms, and we've got some really nice bread <laughs> that we don't, got drinks, you don't normally pay for, mm -hmm. but they give you it with yeah. these. That's icky. Look at that. It's all fresh <clears> and fluffy. We are going to devour right now. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. 
after the rubbish news we all had yesterday we are now on our way to Asda to get a turkey we have a massive turkey in our freezer but it actually belongs to Dara's sister who was coming up for Christmas they bought a turkey we were getting the rest um, but obviously now they've got a bit home so they're having their turkey so we've got to try and hopefully find a turkey or a turkey crown more really because we've got a massive bit of beef from Costco as well so um, yeah that is oh sorry the road is very bumpy so that is the uh, sitch right now let's try and find some turkey because we can't not have turkey on Christmas day we're gonna have a quick drive by past Mills so everybody's feeling a bit down I would take a drive by past my mum and my sister and the family but they are 40 miles away in London so that's not gonna happen yeah so it's all a bit rubbish everyone's feeling a bit down deflated but it is what it is and we ain't really got any choice we've kind of just got to roll with it and make the best of what we can we've got a house full of food and drink which is crazy but it will all get eaten eventually and uh drunk start today we could start today yeah because we want to be good like come january not january the first obviously because no one's everyone's got food in the house come january the first it's going to be january the fourth for us we're all going to get back on healthy eating because we've just got a disgusting amount of bad food in our house so yeah maybe we will break some snacks out today and start start on them we're definitely going to watch kinky boots today because it didn't happen yesterday play some games and just have a chill day really because there's not much else we can do because our event got cancelled obviously as well even though it was an outside thing where you sit in your car it's still been cancelled so anyways let's go into our style we're there now cheese is making a car smell yeah we got some cheese i'm making i was meant to be doing a chuckery board for boxing day at my sister's and i've got some camembert we don't really like it but i know some of my family do so i've got one and then our fridge started stinking and we were like why is our fridge stinking we cleaned it all out bleached it all out it was still stinking and then i realized it was the cheese so i wrapped it in tin foil and now i'm because we're going to go to mills to drive by i thought i'd give it to them because they're the ones that eat it and now it's stinking the car out so it's definitely a, a, a pongy one that's why we don't like it anyway we'll see you a bit later hi guys we're back from Esther and pop in to see mel and tom and esme and elaine give my mum and sister a facetime in hope that to try and cheer people up a little bit and just let them know that everything's gonna be all right everyone's feeling a bit down but i've just chucked some done some random cookie cutters a puff pastry and put some jam and nutella on them whacked them in the oven they shouldn't take too long and then we're going to watch kinky boots get some christmas snacks out because why not and just chill out the rest of the afternoon i think spirits are low so we need to try and do some festive stuff check out my boots guys do you look like my boots i love these boots anyone who knows who's had dms before will know that they actually absolutely kill your feet so i just wear them on short times when because they gave me two massive blisters before all lights terrible let's go back to the window yeah i do love my dms but um i can only wear them for like a little bit of time because they give you massive blisters on the backs of your feet even though you wear them up a bunch of times anyway this is a bit of a scrambled up vlog now because of obviously circumstances but we're gonna watch kinky boots which i'm really excited eat some snacks chill out and catch up with you afterwards and let you know what we thought. Everyone says it's great, so I'm sure we're gonna love it. What about Darren? He does like a musical, but he's a bit iffy of some, so we'll see. We'll let you know next what we think of Kibbutz. Right, guys, I was super excited for this. Gourmet popcorn. It is vile. It is like soggy, and the cheese is just bleh. I thought it was gonna be, I was so excited for this. I thought it was gonna be like the um, popcorn you get in America. Ugh. I need to get something different taste in my mouth now because that is grim. Look at my dog poo uh, looking Christmas biscuits. <laughs> Puff pastries. And some jam ones. What a mess. Sure they taste delicious. Right now we're definitely going to watch Kinky Boots. Hi guys. So we just watched Kinky Boots. I say we. We all started it. And then Darren fizzled out about half hour into it and then came upstairs and then Taylor did and then Dar uh, Grace had followed. Me and Nanny Hazel loved it to bits so It was really, really good. Great music, great message to the world, great costumes, great dancing, all of it. Very, very good. So um, go and watch it if you've not got the chance. Like if it's still on YouTube now, go and check it out. When it comes back into the West End, I'd love to go and watch it. I think it would be amazing, like, in person. Very, very good. There's some tears. Lots of laughter, lots of jigging around because songs I want to get the soundtrack now because I think it was really, really good. So I'd like to listen to the soundtrack. Anyway, I'm going to close out the vlog now because it's been a bit of a meh weekend. It's going to be a bit of a meh 
vlog which isn't really what people want to see so i'm just going to put together what we've done this weekend which isn't a great deal put it together and pop it up for you guys to see this is probably the last time that i'll see you guys before christmas now so i hope you all have a very merry christmas i hope it's as nice as it can be um and there's not too much sadness and stuff around it there's plenty of positives to look at and i'm sure next year is going to be a better year we just got to keep trooping through until this vaccine gets spread out and things can hopefully get a bit better but yeah i hope you sort of have a lovely bit of time off even if you've you know not not doing anything too too exciting but enjoy your food we've got so much food so many vegetables and stuff to go on christmas dinner i will maybe take some photos and vlog it i'm just gonna go crazy why not probably ain't gonna get most of it eaten but i'll we'll be eating it for like three days after christmas but we're just gonna enjoy it and enjoy being together hopefully not kill each other this is normal me anyway guys like i said merry christmas um and i hope you all take care and we will see you guys real soon